Today we will be showing you how to set up your Oakton Temp 300 thermometer to data log readings and how to download that data to your computer. For this you will need your Temp 300 meter, a thermocouple probe, USB cable, USB driver, and a computer with the program HyperTerminal. The first thing that you will want to do once you have the probe plugged in and meter turned on is set up the data logging function on the meter. To do this, press the menu or F3 button and from there use the arrow keys to scroll to the icon that resembles a book and pen. This is the data logging icon. Press the select or F1 button to enter the data logging setup. You can then adjust your parameters based on what will work best for your application. To change each parameter, make sure the field is highlighted and then press the select button. You can then use the arrows to scroll between the different options. For location, you will need to make sure that it is set to meter and for logging, you will want to have it set to auto so that it will automatically take a reading after the time interval you have set passes. This would mean that if the time interval is set to one minute, the meter will take a temperature reading every one minute and save that on the meter. If the logging is set to manual, this would require you to press the log button on the meter every time you wanted to save a reading. Once your setup is complete, you can press the menu button to exit out of the data logging setup. Then press the measure or F3 button to go back to measurement mode. Once in the measurement mode, you can place your probe in the area that you wish to measure. Then press the log or down button on the keypad to start the data logging on the meter. At the top of the screen, you will see an icon that says log that will periodically blink to indicate that you are in auto logging mode. To stop the auto logging, the log or down button would just need to be pressed again. The next thing that will need to be done is to install the USB driver onto your computer. Insert the USB driver CD into your computer CD-ROM drive and connect your Temp 300 to the computer using the USB cable. Your computer should automatically detect the meter with a message saying that a new device has been found. You will then want to follow the prompts to install the software. We have shown the installation process in this video for you to view. To download the data to your computer, you will need to turn on your meter and then connect it to your computer via the USB cable. Make sure that you turn your meter on before connecting to the computer or you will be unable to download the data. On your computer, you will then need to go to the Start menu, All Programs, Accessories, Communications, and then click on the icon for HyperTerminal. The program will then prompt you for your location information, but this is unnecessary and can be skipped by clicking on Cancel. You will then be prompted to provide any name of your choosing for the download. Once this is done, click OK. You will then need to select the COM port that the meter is using. It is usually COM6 or higher. To find out the exact COM port, go to Start, Control Panel, System, Hardware, Device Manager, and Ports. Expand the ports to see the details and unplug, then plug in your thermometer to see which specific COM port it is using. You will then need to enter the COM port details which are listed in the instruction manual for the driver and shown here in the video. Then click OK. You will then need to access the data logging menu on the meter. On the first page, change the location to PC. Then press the Page 2 or F2 button to access the second page. Press the Start or F1 button to begin transferring the data. Your data should then be transferred to HyperTerminal and should look like the sample data we have shown here. From here you can then copy and paste this data to an Excel or Word document. Please be aware that the software is able to work with Windows 7 but can only work with the 32-bit versions, not the 64-bit. 